Hit. Hello there folks and welcome back to Bolts for Bucks. My name's Steven and today we're going to take a look at and range test the Weatherby Backcountry 2.0 Carbon in 6.5 Weatherby RPM or rebated Precision Magnum. Now, I did do a previous studio review and range review on this rifle and we had many problems with extraction and the casings getting bound up inside the chambering area. Using the Weatherby factory ammunition 127 grain LRX loads. So today we're going to be trying out these Weatherby uh, select ammunition in 140 grain interlock. Um, these are ultra high velocity ammunition and this is the 65 uh, Weatherby RPM ammunition. Now um, I'm hoping that with a little bit lower velocities um, and a heavier bullet we won't have those chambering issues with extraction and the casings freezing up inside them. As well as I went through and really brushed out and cleaned the chambering area in the rifle as well as cleaned the barrel and several other components of the rifle thoroughly. So hopefully we have better luck today. This rifle features a very nice uh, high quality Peak 44 uh, stock that's hand laid carbon fiber. Comes in a couple different Cerakote patterns. Um, looks really eye pleasing in my opinion. Features all metal bottom metal and trigger guard with a very nice trigger tech field trigger that adjusts down to two and a half. I actually got mine to adjust down to about two and a quarter. Features a skeletonized uh, bolt uh, knob, a nice fluted um, or spiral fluted bolt body, as well as a very nice high quality uh, carbon fiber barrel. And it comes with a titanium radial muzzle brake. Now the rifle weighs only 5.9 pounds, is 46.5 inches long, has a 24 inch barrel that's a contour number four, and has a overall barrel length of 26 inches, that's including the muzzle brake. It is a four plus one mag capacity, and the 6.5 RPM features a one and eight twist. The drop comb is 0.625 inches, drop at heel is 0.30 inches. Um, length of pull is 13.5 inches. I find this rifle to be extremely lightweight, uh, extremely ergonomic, and I'm very pleased with the aesthetic appeal of it. However, does it function and does it shoot accurately and is it reliable? It features the uh, six lug Mark V action versus their full nine lug Magnum action. All right, it is fully coated as well, uh, which is something to note has a two position safety. When the safety is on, it locks the bolt in place and it features a 54 degree bolt throw. <clears throat> All right, it looks like our zero is just a touch high for this ammunition. It did extract, it was a bit tight, but it did extract. One more shot here. The ammunition for Weatherby is extremely expensive, even the cheaper ammunition. And so we're not going to be taking a whole lot of shots today. Okay, so that's about a three quarter inch group. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, this rifle does come with a sub MOA guarantee. And this is just the 140 grain interlock ammunition, which is actually their lowest grade factory offering. Um, also, it does appear to be chambering easier and extracting easier. Uh, than the 127 grain LRX. Now that might have been because the chamber, maybe it came dirty from the factory, um, or maybe the pressures were too high on that ammunition, the, the box of ammunition I had. Um, this appears to be functioning very, very well. Um, we're gonna shoot one more group at 100 yards using the 140 grain interlock factory ammunition. Um, and I re-zeroed it a little bit, so it should be a little closer, although that is a process while breaking in a rifle. I'm gonna be shooting up the upper uh, right square, upper right square, and I'm actually gonna be aiming for the corner of that square so I have a, f a smaller aim point. Let's see how this thing feeds. Much smoother, no problems there. Uh, feels like this thing's really smoothing out and uh, shaping up to be a good rifle here. Cycled nicely there. Let's put this one down into the mag well here. Yep, fed nicely. Ooh, I think I pulled that one. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, so maybe just over MOA on that group. Not too shabby. The main issue uh, and thing I wanted to check with this rifle is that it's now feeding and extracting correctly and it does appear to be doing so. Um, that first group was probably three quarter MOA and for a 5.9 pound rifle that's pretty impressive actually as I in have a difficult time shooting rifles this light and I am a bit out of practice. Now we're going to take this out to 200 yards, 300 yards and 350 yards and see how it does. Hit. Still a little bit stiff working this action but it does seem to be smoothing out. Um, I really do like the short bolt throw on it and the two position safety, uh, the actual adjustment on it feels really good. Nice hit. All right. All right. Now we're going to try that uh, 350 yard target out there. Hit. I do think I hit a bit low. But uh, anyways, not too bad for guessing my dope. And that was a hit, folks. Second shot ever at uh, any range beyond 400, so pretty pleased with that.